G'day again. Welcome back to Dad vs. Son and our playthrough of Great War Commander from Hexasim. And we are at time 9 of 10 for sudden death. 3 BP for the Germans. And things are coming to a head where it can go anybody's way because we have four uh, secret objectives now. And we're back to the French turn. Now, they finished last time with a runner and an artillery request and have picked up a fire, a move, a fire, and a fire. No bloody advance again. Wow. And no recover, which is even worse in its own way. Okay, and I've got no idea what the Germans have got other than a move at the moment. Righto. Fire, 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 runner, artillery, move. Okay, well, I think the first thing I've got to do is artillery. Ah. Uh. No, let's try and... Uh, I, I'm going to go for it. I need to get some of these troops off the board, I think, uh, to get me some VPs, which is going to be difficult. But at least at the moment, the only thing that can fire is this fusilier out of here or this fusilier down to here. Oh, no, we've got the machine gun that can fire over here as well. Arr! Well, we're going to try it. Okay, so we're going to do a move. First order is going to be a move. Um, and I think the first thing we're going to try and do is get this guy off the board. He can move for four. Um, I'm going to get him off the road for a start. So he's going to go one to there. Do the Germans have anything to fire with? And they do. Okay. So they are going to opportunity fire. So the question now is, what do they fire with? So firing at this guy can't do anything here now because he's not adjacent. Um, we could fire down from here with this guy. He'd fire for five, but that's it. So I think we're going to have to fire with the machine gun over this way. So that's what we're going to do. So he's going to fire for eight straight up. There is no... Uh, he's going to fire through the field. So that gives us a one hindrance. So he's firing for seven on this one. He has nothing to add to it. So it is firing for seven. Plus six is 13, and we have a German event, which is Walking Wounded. Oh. Select one eliminated unit or leader. Return it to play in, the, in or adjacent to a random hex broken. So we've got to select it first. And uh, I think I've got to bring back the Hauptmann. Simple as that. I need the leadership more than anything else. So the random hex is going to be M9. And M9 is here. And I've got to bring him back there or adjacent broken. So let's put him... Uh, I'm going to put him on M10. I know it's on the road, which is going to decrease him, but um, that's my best bet, I believe, because I want to try and get him into there at least. Can't get him over here, 
which would have been wonderful. But if I can get him into cover over here to support this machine gun to lay down more fire, then that's the best thing for it. Okay. So this guy's under fire for 13, and he's sitting there for 6. Um, I have a light wounds to help him with. 6 and 6 is 12. So even if I bring that up to a 13 with using my plus 1, he's still going to be broken. So I'm going to use light wounds which means he comes off and is replaced with a team. And we lose one VP. So the Germans go up to four. He's moved one. Uh, he had a total of three. He still has two moves left. So he's going to go to there. And again, they're going to fire. Um, again, we are firing through the um, hex sides are included. Yep, so again, it's 8 minus 1 is 7. Plus 6 is 13 again. And he's there for 7 now. Plus 5 is 12. And he's hit. I nearly got him off there. This didn't bloody work. Okay. Righto. So let's do the best we can. I'm going to move my machine gun into the shell holes here. which will at least give him one cover rather than minus one here. So again, we're firing minus one for hindrance, so firing for seven. Plus seven is 14. And we have a German event, which is interdiction. Suppress one unit in a hex with less than one cover. So let us suppress whom it'll come down to. These are less than one cover. These are less than one cover. Um, let's suppress this guy. If he decides to move, then uh, he's got less chance of doing anything. Okay, so 14 into here. We'll do the machine gun team first. They're in there for 8 plus 1 is 9. Plus 4 is 13. As much as I hate it, I'm going to have to use my plus 1 to make it 14. No, because then he'll still be broken because he was moving. Forget about that. So he's just going to be broken. We're not using the plus one. Okay. Let's see if we can get this guy off then. So he can move four. So we'll go. It doesn't matter where we go to start with. So he'll go zero to there. Because he can only go here or here. So zero to here. Again, firing for eight minus one is seven. Plus four is 11, and he's there for six. Minus one is five. Plus 10, he's safe. He then moves one. Uh, there's not much sense because they will probably take this out. He can move. Ooh, cheeky. He's going to move down into the quarry for two, three. Uh, for one, two, and can't be seen. Righto. Which only leaves this guy that can move now. Uh, 
Um, bum, bum. But I think I screwed that up anyway. This guy was the only one that could move if I moved him. Or these were the only ones that could move. So I've screwed that up. I apologise. Um, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to move anybody else. And, and that's it. So that's the move over. Okay, so yeah, um, because this bloke was separate, he should have, when he moved, I couldn't have done anything here because this guy had zero. Um, so I had to move everybody with him, which was this guy and this guy, or just him. So I've screwed that and I apologise. So we'll just let it stand as is. Okay. Um, righto, so what are we going to do now then? That was our first order. We have runner, artillery, fire and fire. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, lots of bugger. Um, okay, so our second order will be to fire, and we're going to activate Captain Fleury and all of his people to fire now. He can fire into there, he can fire into there, all of these can fire into there. He can fire into there. He cannot. He can only fire down to here. So we're going to fire here first. And we're firing for five. Plus eight, 13. And this fusilier is here for eight and three is 11. 12, 13. Um, he hasn't moved, so I'm going to use the plus one on him, and therefore he's not hit. Now, all these guys are firing into here. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve into here, and I'm going to use. A plus two is 14. And that'll be 14 plus seven, 21. Right. And we have a concealment that they can use here, which we'll use, which brings it back down to 18 because they're in a building. So this guy is here for 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Plus 6 is 18. So he is suppressed. And Leutnant Lockhow is in there for 11. Plus 8 is 19 and he is fine. Right. Right. So we've done a move, we've done a fire. That's two orders, which leaves us one order to go. And we have a runner or an artillery request. So we're just going to put our runner out. Up here with the captain. And that's five new cards for the French. One, two, three, four, five. And the Germans are left with a command confusion and a move. Uh, the move has a probe on it, so we probably want to keep that. But I want to move this guy. Uh, except he can't move into there because he's only got one move. Bloody hell. He could go zero, one, because he's on the road. So it's still worth going. So we're going to move. 
this guy, the Hauptmann, goes zero. So can anybody fire at him? And the machine gun cannot get him. These guys are one, two, three, four, out of range, out of range, out of range. And then he goes one into here. Okay, so that's the move done. They can't do anything more. They get three new cards. Any defender only stuff? No. So the French have an artillery request left over. And they have picked up an artillery request, a runner, an advance, a recover, and a fire. Okay, an advance. And that's what we're going to do. But should we recover first? And we will. So we will recover. So first things first, we'll remove the suppressed marker from there and the suppressed marker from there and from there and that's all them and that one done so now let's work on the lieutenant first he's there for eight and we get a seven so he is back This line here is there for 8 and 3 is 11. And we get a 6 and he is back. This line over here, 8 and 1 is 9. And we get an 8 and he is back. Which leaves us with the specialist down here for 8. And we get a 6 and he is back. And we have a French sniper hitting at N10. So it's just as well we moved the Hupman or else he would have been gone again. Right. So that's our recover done. Ah, sorry. Got one more to go. The specialist here. Eight plus one is nine. And we get a seven. And he is also back with our machine gun in here. I would really love to advance into here. But what I think I'm going to do is advance these guys into here and this guy into here. So let's do it. Second order, advance. Lieutenant Grenier into here. So let's just move that off to the side and that off to the side at the moment. The lieutenant comes in with the line, with the machine gun, like that. Righto. Do the Germans have anything to help? And they have two ambushes. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. So, they are going to use both ambushes. Okay, so we will take the first ambush on the specialist. I don't want to lose my machine gun. So if I do that, I've lost one. If I knock that down, I've lost three effectively there. Oh. If I knock him down, I've lost... Two, four. So I've got to knock down this line here. I'm oh, sorry, he was going over here as well. But yeah, we wanted to knock it down for here. Okay, so the Germans are at five. Plus one is six. And that's it. So let's have a look. Six, uh, sorry, do the... Okay, the French have an ambush as well. Do I want to use that one? No. I'm going to use this ambush. Use this card as an ambush action. Now, the 
Germans have a choice of losing this one or losing three there. <laughs> Do they want to really lose their machine gun? And the answer is they don't want to lose the objective. It's the main thing. At least they've got another machine gun over here. So they'll lose this guy. They lose this machine gun. They lose this guy, which is only one VP. So taking it down to three VP for the Germans. And now what we have is five in here. Do I want to use my other ambush to knock that down? So what am I going to have here? I'm going to have three and five is eight and two is ten against five. And I think I will. I'm going to use my other ambush and this guy is knocked down as well. So the Germans have two. Plus ten. So it might have been a bloody good idea. Takes them to twelve. And we're sitting on three. And four is seven. And two is nine. Is that right? Three and four is seven. And two is nine. Yep. Okay. Nine plus ten. Yes, we got them. Okay. And the vent is... Sappers, you may place or remove a wire marker in a hex that is both free of enemy formations and adjacent to a friendly good order unit. And I'm going to remove this wire. Done. This guy is gone. Let's just flip him over. So that's 2VP for the French. Ah, no, it's 4. Now, let me get this right. Uh, no, that's exit points, but hang on. Bane at work. The German VP value of a German formations eliminated in melee is doubled if at the conclusion of melee there are still French units in the melee hex. Okay, there still are. So we get an extra one for this guy. And then we get four for this guy, which takes it to two VP for the French. These guys now take objective one. And each objective is worth two VP. So the Germans lose two VP, giving the French two more. And then the French gain two VP. And the French are now at six. Just give me a tick. Sorry about that. Back again. Okay, so we've finished this... Um, advance into here and the melee and now we have this advance into here with the melee um, so nobody has anything to help whatsoever this time so it could go either way so we have the germans on four plus eight is 12 and we have the french on five plus eight is 13 and they take him out as well. And he is worth 2VP. Um, doubled is 4 more VP for the French, taking the French up to 10VP. Okay, and we have the quarry under our control. And we have one more order we can give. Okay, so we have a runner and two artillery requests. Um, so I think we're just going to call in some artillery. So third order, calling in some artillery. And we're just going to call it in straight into here and try and knock these ones out from up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we get four fives of 20, so it hits, and then it spreads one six. So it goes up this way for one, and then it goes up this way for one. So we'll do all of this stuff first, and then we do this guy. So if we get a 10 or better, this all becomes shell holes. And we do not, 
but we have an event which is battlefield attrition gain one vp for each eliminated enemy formation okay and formations are all of these four here one two three four four vp taking us to 14 for the french remove any gas and smoke and we don't have any fires to spread so then we do this one here so again we're hitting for eight Plus six is 14, so the trenches survive. And this guy's in here for 11. Hang on, yep. Plus 10, so he's fine. And we have a German event, which is suppressing fire. Suppress one enemy unit or tank within both range and line of sight of a friendly functioning machine gun. Okay enemy unit so we can suppress this guy or this guy or this guy over here these are all no good uh, maybe this guy and that's about it so let's suppress well it's no good suppressing him he's probably going to run off no matter what let's suppress him there like that okay so that's all done that's the three orders for the french they get um four new cards one two three four and we're over to the germans who have a command confusion and an advance so again they could do a uh, a good try and they could advance with their people in here and try and take this back. Um, and there's a good chance of that with the Lieutenant and the Fusilier. Um, we could also send this guy over to here if we wanted to. Or we could advance the Hauptmann up into here. But we need to get some VPs back. So it could be down to a German all or nothing. They have no ambushes. They have no nothing to help. Um, and I don't know what the French have got. Their runner and artillery request that I can see don't have any ambushes. So it could work or it may not. So we are going to advance with the Germans. Try and regain some honour. So Lieutenant Lockau will come up into objective two with this fusilier like that and this fusilier do we have a go with him somewhere do we have a go with him and well not up in there that's for sure but maybe you know we could win this one as well he's going to be out of um he's already suppressed so it doesn't really matter so let's come up in there let's have a go Let's see if we can beat them back. We're at one turn before sudden death. So trying to control as many objectives is uh, more important at the moment. Okay. So, French, which one do we want to do first? And I think as the Germans, we're going to do this one first. So do the French have anything that they can help with there? And they have nothing. So it's just going to be straight up for both sides. So the French are at 5. Plus 10. 15. Okay. And we have a French event, which is Blaze. Place a Blaze marker into the building or woods closest to a random hex. And the random hex is L6. So let's grab a Blaze. Let's have a look at L6. And the closest building or anything. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So this is a French. Sorry. A. Uh, what am I talking about here? 
Bum, bum, bum. This is a French blaze. So they get to put it into the closest. And we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the best place for the French to put this is here, which means these guys have to move. And they're not going to move out into the open, so they'll move over here. And we have a blaze in there, which means that we can't get it. They're going to hold it, but it's moved them back. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So the Germans... What am I doing here? Oh, that's right. Yeah, the French are defending for 15. Duh. Now, the German is there for four. Plus four is eight, and the German dies. Okay. Which puts them up to five there. They lose another four VP, taking it to 18 VP for the French. Okay. Now we're attacking into here. Again, the French are defending for five. A oh, plus 12 is 17. Holy poo. Okay. So it comes down to time. We go to sudden death. All right. Oh, so reshuffle the French cards. Now, if this is a nine or less, the game is over. If it's a 10 or more, we keep going. And this, again, could still go anyone's way. Okay. Sudden death. Let's just make sure of that. I don't want to screw it up. 62632 six, again. Okay. If the result is less than the time marker, the game immediately ends. So nine or less, the game ends. All right, here's the French deck. We cut it. And we get ten. The game goes on. Sorry. This becomes the top of the deck. Okay, game is going on. Righto, so the French are here for 17 and the Germans are here for 6 and 1 is 7 and 7 is 14 and we have a sniper at E7 which is here. It's a German sniper so he may as well hurt this bastard. even though it's not going to matter, and these two are gone. And that takes us to surrender. Right, two then is what did the objectives come out with? And the French secret objective was that objective one, uh, five is worth two VP. And objective five is up here, so the French get two more VP, taking him to 20. Righto, the German ones. Objective five is worth five VP. So the French are now up to 25 VP. The next one, objective two is worth two VP. And objective two is this one I think we just did. Yep. So the French get another 2VP, taking the 27. And the last secret objective oh, was objective 3 is worth 1VP. So the Germans get 1VP and the French finish on 26VP. Wow. So I've played this scenario now three times and it has been totally different every time. Um, so, uh, yeah, what can I say?
the Germans did so well to hold for so long, uh, but then we finally got that happening. Did they really need to do the assaults, the advances up into here? No, they didn't. But in all honesty, um, the French had sufficient firepower there and were just waiting to advance into there themselves and would have effectively done the same thing. Um, they were unlucky down here with the ambushes that the... Uh, the French had, but by the same token, they had two ambushes down here themselves to use. So uh, that could have swung either way to start with as well. So all in all, bloody good game. Um, I was a little less tentative with the French this time than I usually am. Um, and I got away with it. Um, but um, yeah, right up until the last couple of times, this could have gone either way, quite easily. Um, so, yeah, I, I... And I haven't even put on the uh, VPs for these two here. So that would have been another uh, four, eight VP for the French, would have, would have taken them up to 34 VP, I think. So either way, yeah, the French kicked their butts. Um, the Germans did not losing the Hauptmann over here and the people over here to start with really screwed them up. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, sorry about the mistakes over here, uh, especially, and the other little ones and bits and pieces around the place. Uh, in the long run, it didn't make any difference to the game, I don't believe. So uh, take care, and I will catch you next time. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.